Stop that. Why not? Stop right now. <laughs> oh, when, the, when the camera's off, honey. Uh, that, was a too, that was a little too gay. <laughs> Presenting. No, no, no. <laughs> Today we're going to be presenting the iPad 4. Uh, as you can tell, I'm channeling my inner Steve Jobs today with the with the turtleneck and the glasses. I mean, I always wear these glasses, but whatever. That's cool, I guess. He was a cool dude. Good. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Nothing really wrong. So today's video is going to be a new series on the channel, and it is tentatively called My Favorite Brand at the Moment, and today's... Today's favorite brand. No, <laughs> it'll change tomorrow. <laughs> on today's video, we're gonna be focusing on the one, the only, our legacy, um, absolutely fantastic brand. I'm gonna get into details as to why that is, obviously. But yeah, I'm just pointing right now. It's a good brand. It's a huge spoiler. You guys can click off now because the rest of the video. Is... That's that's everything. Yeah, we're done. So without further ado, let's go into the brand history of our legacy. They were founded in Sweden in 2005, so 12 years ago. Uh, I can do math. Nice. Yay! Oh. Oh. It was founded by Joachim Hallen and Christopher Nying. I hope I got those sum up correctly. They started out with graphic tees in 2005, and by 2007, they actually had their first full-fledged collection, and only one year later, they opened up their flagship store in Stockholm, Sweden, and actually today, in this present moment, they have four stores, one in London, England, and then three in Sweden. Uh, please come to North America, like not New York, because I don't live there, but Toronto. Pretty much they're known for attention to quality and detail, and kind of maintaining this timeless and effortless style. I feel like you could wear it now, 20 years ago, 10 years ago, 10 years in the future, 20 years in the future, and they'll always kind of, you know, be that kind of elegant, classy look. And in 2012, spring summer 2012 is when they started to focus more on kind of an overall theme for collections, as opposed to before it was a lot more product oriented, where they just kind of want to focus on product one item at a time and just not really look at the grand scheme of things. It's okay guys, this is normal, this happens every day. Just let him, let him have his moment. <laughs> I actually like, jumped a little bit, okay. So, for the way the outfits are going to be shown in this video, it's going to be like the DIY... Yeah, if you didn't notice already, if you're stupid and you didn't see this, then uh, it's exactly like the DIY was before. So the first outfit we have here for you guys is a Our Legacy... I already forgot what it's called. Eat on them. That's a good eat. The first outfit we have here for you guys is a box shirt in the dark tartan... Tartan? Tarzan, Tartar. The box shirt in the state Tartar colorway. If you haven't watched the Trey Vian pickups video, this piece was actually featured in that. So this is gonna be a little bit of a recap of what I said in that video. But wow, can you not create new content? Wow. But embarrassing. You haven't seen the other three pieces, so you gotta you gotta sit through to the good stuff. Not the good stuff, the new stuff. Pretty much the shirt has got a boxy fit. It's got some mother of pearl buttons going up the middle of the shirt, and it's got a pocket on the side here, right over the heart. No heart, 21 Savage. So we paired this shirt with a uh, navy pair of like, APC pants, and then white cotton projects. Uh, we felt like like the navy elements in this shirt went really well with the navy pants, so that kind of like blended well together, and then the white on the bottom kind of just like broke those two colors apart. And another thing, like the mother of pearl buttons on the actual like, I call it flannel. Whatever. I call it flannel. Are you triggered? I'm sorry. I'm so triggered. triggered. You know what? It's better than what they call it. They call it, they call it a box shirt. Just call it, call it what you want. I like calling it a throwover flannel. The, okay, so the, 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 the shoes go really well with the snow pants. Uh, the, the, call it what you want, right? Uh. But yeah, the fishnets look really good with the shoes, is what I'm trying to say. The white of the shoes goes well with like the light color of the buttons. I love thongs. 
<laughs> so the next fit is showing off the R Legacy shawl. Our Legacy Shawl Zip Shirt. The Our Legacy Shawl Zip Shirt. There we go. It takes a little bit of time because it's a shop with a zip and a shit. Thank you for explaining that. So, details of this piece include the fact that it's made of like a flannel-like material. And actually, I was reading the tag, and apparently the color they used for it, uh, it will like rub off. On it. It's pretty much like the dye they use is not like, I guess, sturdy. If you wash it, it will like stain everything in there or something. Some of that. I don't know how to explain it. I'm like, literally stupid, but the shirt has AIDS. <laughs> sure. So it's got a shawl collar, and it's also got mother of pearl buttons on the the cuffs going around that way. Yeah, that way. And it's got the big zipper that you cannot miss going down to. I want to say halfway, but it's not halfway. We can give like a solid like a third. No, not third. It's a thirty. Quarter. It's thirty-three percent. I want to give it like a thirty-five percent zip. So that's a uh, seven seven twentieth. The zipper. It's always something with you. And it's got the curved hems that I actually really, really, really enjoy. The outfit features a thrifted jacket on top of the shawl zip shirt, and it's also got the navy APC pants that we had in the previous fit, as well as not white CPs this time, but pink CPs. First things first with the jacket, you might be wondering, hmm, why didn't Adam just put on the jacket? It looks kind of stupid, it just, you know, it on the back. What purpose does that serve? Well, it doesn't serve any purpose. He didn't put it on because like the sleeves, they didn't go all the way down, so we thought that looked pretty stupid. The reason why we did this was because the kind of like the dark turquoise of the, of the shirt, it, it blended like really well, like a lot with like the pants, but it wasn't like completely dead on, so it's kind of like a, it almost looked like a mismatch, but we felt like that, that spark of color on the top of it, that was the same kind of tone as those two colors just blended them like together a little yeah. bit. Since like the, Bones were like kind of like complementary on the top. We decided to go with the pink common projects instead of the white ones because yeah. the white would be a little bit too bright. So the pink, uh, since it's so pale, since it's like toned down, we felt like it went really well with like the kind of like the top. But all kind of like all the colors kind of just like looked washed out sort of thing. Feminism is my favorite prism. So the third outfit is the base turtleneck. Uh, I assume they call it base turtleneck because I'm sure they come out with it every season, but I just got it this season because. I don't know. Like, fuck you want, dude. It's a base turtleneck in black merino, a uh, hundred percent virgin merino wool. Never fucked. The sheep wore a chastity belt his entire life. Yes. So, 100% pure. Perfect. And anus it's... doesn't count, by the way, so. Yeah. Just in case of some kind of liability, anal doesn't count. This piece also features a ripped collar. I think it's actually really interesting because it's made in a way so that if you fold it down, it's actually way too low. Because you see here the one I'm wearing, like when I don't have it folded down, it's literally like... You know, that's a good look. You that's, a good, that's a good look. To be honest with you, I don't really like like the scrunchiness, like the fold down on top of it. I think it looks, it makes it look like, a little bit like dirty. Yeah. A little bit. Sorry. Sorry, our legacy. So the rest of the fit features a vintage vintage thrifted adidas windbreaker as well as my raf jeans that i'm wearing right now and my raf simmons adidas stan smiths they wouldn't the exact same with regular adidas stan smiths but you know the perforated art just makes a difference the perforated wow. art is such a pop huge I i'm sure that's the first thing you noticed it's a deal breaker it's oh, a yeah. deal breaker just before we get into like actually describing uh our thoughts on the outfit i want to say i want to put this out there I love Tridilex because of like, their versatility. I feel like they could be plugged into like very, very diverse outfits. For example, it could be worn like in a sporty fit, it could be worn casually, it could be worn like in a chic kind of like high fashion look. There's so many things like different things you can do with a turtleneck, so if you are kind of you know wanting to have a piece that has that much versatility, I would uh, suggest investing in one because yeah. it is actually kind of like a staple piece in a closet almost. We chose like the sporty kind of avenue to go with the turtleneck, as you can probably tell with the Windbreaker and the Stan Smiths. Raph Simmons Stan Smiths, may I add. Definitely, you know, adds a little little pop, a little kick, little right? Pop. Everybody's looking with their magnifying glass for the R. And we chose to use all black because even though this outfit should be focusing on the turtleneck because it is an R Legacy video, uh, obviously the blue is a lot more eye-catching than nice baby blue, so we decided that the all black of the fit would make the blue pop a lot more. 
last, but obviously certainly not least because of the fact that this is our favorite fit. What is it? It is a unconstructed classic coat in the gray colorway, but it's a psyllium wool fabric material. Why are you looking at me? I don't know. It's your coat. So this coat is 46, is it 46 or 48? No, 48, my bad. So this jacket is 48% virgin wool once again. Not fucked. Not fucked. It's got four pockets, two on the inside, two on the outside. It's got three buttons, and the buttons are like under a hidden kind of closure, so you don't see them when they're buttoned up. And it's also got like a, how do I, how do I describe this? Like a back vent, almost. Like it's like, got like some cuts near the rear that lets some nice airflow get to your buttocks in case you get a little bit of a ass soup on the, on the bus. As I, as I tend to do. Taking a look at the fit as a whole, we've got besides the coat, a black unique little turtleneck, as well as the, this one right here. There you go. The black wrap jeans and some Blood Brother shoes. Guys, they were originally retailing at like 350 and I got them on sale for 49.99. It's like whatever, like if it only works for one fit, then like whatever, but they're not like white common projects where you can like throw them on like, 90% of things, and I'm like, oh, looks good. It's like a very specific look. But for this look, I, we feel, not I feel, we feel, that the shoes really elevate it to the next level. Basically, with this fit, we wanted to really focus on the coat. We felt like it was a, I guess, like a unique gray, along with like its texture being relatively interesting, relatively unique. So we really wanted to make that pop. So what better way of doing that than taking all the color away from the fit and leaving the, you know, the, the price, the price position price piece. For this fit, we did that. Um, the shoes kind of play an integral role with this in that we felt like, it, I guess a, an all black fit would work as well, I would say, but I felt like with the, the soles having like that gray, the gray and the white elements, it really just, it blends well with the jacket. So just everything kind of complements itself together as long with the buttons on the actual jacket. They are dark, so they do go with the, the blackness, the darkness the shadows, the void, the black hole, the emptiness, the sorrow. That sounds like my life all right. The jacket like on its own, we felt like it wasn't super, super loud, right? It's, it is a color that could, I can blend in. Blend you in can or, make it loud. Yeah, you can make it loud, but right. I feel like with this, if you added like more colors to it, it would almost just, uh, make it lost in an outfit, like you know, it wouldn't pop out enough. So the all black was very deliberate based on that. We really did want it to, you know, stand out. If you do agree with us, let us know. If you don't agree with us, we have no interest in hearing from you because you're stupid. Yeah. And there's also a photo of me on my Instagram in this outfit, minus the shoes. So go follow my Instagram. Serious butt plug. But no, do follow us on Instagram because they're we have cool shit on there. Yeah. I think Jeremy's Instagram is cooler than mine, to, truth be told, but um I am um, they're both shot by me. No. The best photos of, of either of us are always taken by me, of him. If you go on his Instagram, there's one. It's him in black suspenders, like a flowery t-shirt, and I think black jeans, and it's the best fucking photo. I've ever seen, and it was shot by me. Also, the one of you in the Ghost Rip Chinsky sweater at UTM with the with the glasses. That's a beautiful photo as well. I am the photographer of the two. Jeremy is the everything else. But point being, false on Instagram is because social media makes my dick hard. I'm deleting both of those photos right now.